Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another Mixed Media Tuesday. This is the second Arjenal project that I'm posting today, so if you haven't checked the first one, make sure to do so on my YouTube channel or on my blog. That's the page that I created using products that I found on the first 14 doors of the Advent Calendar by Art by Marlene. Make sure to check that out. So for this project I'm going on a completely different style. I'm going to create a Christmas themed project, but I'm using products from the pink Christmas collection by Stamperia, a beautiful collection this one, and um, you will find 6x6 six six pattern papers, uh, 12 by 12 you will be able to find even die cuts, chipboards, lots and lots of products in a collection every time by Stamperia. All Christmas collections, keep in mind, are in 45% discounted joggles, so this is your chance if you want to stock up on some beautiful collections. So I'm going to pick up one page and uh, this is a page where I cleaned up one of my stencils from a previous art journal that I made. No problem at all, it's going to add an extra layer on my project. I'm going to play with rice paper. This is a rice paper from an older collection by Stamperia. I believe this is the Ser Vagabond collection. But any uh, newspaper, for example, or even book page would work just fine. I just like to have um, text at my background. So I'm going to stick everything down with my matte medium. By the way, my other matte medium that I usually work with by Ranger has finished. So now I'm working with the Liquitex one, which is really handy since it comes on a bottle and it is um, quite liquid and super easy to spread out. I use matte medium to cover up the rice paper as well. Then I will make sure that it is completely dry and I will use my scissors to chop off the excess. Now, since I'm going to work with the pink collection by Stamperia, I want to have a more shabby chic look on my project. That's why I will kind of cover up some of the areas with uh, acrylic paint. This is ivory acrylic paint, so it's not bright white. And I'm making sure that I don't cover up completely the background. I apply a thin layer so I can still see what's underneath and I didn't apply any water, that was dry brushing. Then I'm going to put that inside my spray box and I'm going to mist it with a pink oxide spray. I'm trying to be very soft and lightly here, I don't want to add uh, too much and overwhelm my page and I think that it matches nicely with the rest of the colors from the collection. I'm also going to uh, use my jelly plate and I'm using that just as a mat so that I can apply some white paint on top, this is acrylic paint, and use it with my brayer. I'm going to add a few white areas just randomly there. And of course you can do that step with your gesso, with your white gesso as well. I don't know if that shows on camera, but all these layers are quite thin, so although I add layers of paint upon uh, layers, I can still see through to the rice paper with all that text. From one of the 12x12 pattern papers, I'm going to use this frame. This is going to work as a layer so that I can add even more elements on top of it. And you can add even more interest on this frame if you cut out the inside circle so that it works as a frame completely. You can change the background, you can even add uh, things inside, tuck inside little elements. I am just going to use my scissors to go around that. I ink up the edges and uh, I'm just using what's left on the blending brush that I use for my browns. And then I need a background for that window, so I decided to go with that bluish one. I'm just going to cut out a piece so that I can stick it at the back. If you want, you can stick that frame on top of this background by using foam tape to add dimension. However, I decided to go completely flat since after all, I will have more dimension with the other elements that I'm going to stick on top. Now let's do some stenciling. I have this stencil with a snowflake border. I'm going to use a couple of those snowflakes with a very thick white modeling paste and I'm going to go all around completely randomly. At this stage I don't know where I'm going to stick my elements. One thing to keep in mind at this stage is that I do have pink 
oxide spray at the background which isn't permanent and it is going to react with that modeling paste. That means that it's not going to stay completely white in some areas where it touches that ink. But uh, it's not a problem. I like to have that quite um, muted. If you want to keep those snowflakes bright white, then what you could do was to white emboss them. And in the beginning, when I used the rice paper, I wasn't planning to do any stamping on my background. However, I just couldn't stay away from it. And since it, give me, it makes me happy, I just had to do it. I grabbed one text stamp that I keep on uh, using again and again. I just like this part of the stamp because it has a very fine, uh, a very small text font. And I'm going to stamp both the frame as well as the background. I'm using black archival link for that. And for me, it's all about the little details that bring all the different elements to life and uh, they kind of uh, bring everything together. So here I'm using the same Distress Oxide Spray and add a little bit of pink on the frame as well. And I'm going to glue that frame on top of my background. For this layout, I didn't feel the need to darken up the edges of the background, which is a step that I usually do. After all, I do have a frame on top of my page, so I was really happy with how that looked. For my focal point, I'm going with this chipboard sticker. This is self-adhesive from the same uh, romantic pink Christmas collection by Stamperia. And um, uh, although it is self-adhesive, I decided to add extra glue on top just to make sure that it's not going to fall. From the same paper pad, I did fuzzy cut a few flower compositions as well as that ribbon that says Christmas. And I'm going to put everything together with my glue. At this stage, I need to remind you that if you want to support my channel and help me share even more, please hit the like button as well as leave me a comment down below. Interaction is always helpful for us content creators. And of course, at this stage, you can call the layout done. I was just having fun and I can keep on adding little details here and there. So first of all, I cut out and um, stick down here the um, little word Mary to complete my sentiment. And I'm also going to add some uh, shadows. I'm just going to do that by watercoloring around my elements. Here I am using a brush with a um, vintage photo. And since this art journal is quite small, it's just 5 by 7, you can easily recreate this into a card. Now, since I have that stamping at the background and at the frame, I'm going to do a little bit of that stamping on my elements that I cut out and stuck on top. So just a few touches on the flowers, a few touches on the deer, brings everything together and if you follow my videos you probably know what's coming next a little bit of highlighting with my white gel pen and then some white splashes by using white uh, paint that i have thinned down with water and I always like to protect the face of my characters from white splashes. I don't want to have any random uh, white uh, splashes on top of uh, their eyes etc. It's going to look kind of funny And I'm going to call my layout done. Remember, this is the second layout that I made for today in a completely different style. Make sure to check out the other video that I have posted earlier. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like and comment down below in the description area. Just like always, you will find links to everything I used. And keep in mind that everything Christmas by Stamperia is at 45% off at Joggles. Thank you all for watching.